nice quick intro to making a photo book in iPhoto. So while I'm out for the day, you guys can give this a try. And when I get back, you can show me what you made if you uh, had enough time to take pictures and get started on your book. So let's get started by choosing some pictures we want to use. I'm just going to highlight a couple of events here. Now you can choose whichever ones you want. Could be everything in here, could be only a couple events, doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to do. Um, and once we've picked the pictures that we want to use, we're just going to go ahead and click Create right down here at the bottom. That's going to give us a menu of all the things we can create. Now we tried the slideshow already, but what we want to make right now is a photo book. So we're just going to click on Book. And that's going to take us into a screen that's all about making photo books. And what you're seeing here is all the different options that you have for general book ideas. So if I click around in this kind of turning carousel thing, I'm looking at all the different themes that my book can have. So each one is just a slightly different look for the book. You can see they load up as they come around here. And uh, I can change sizes by clicking on some of these buttons here. I can change colors. You see some of the themes change, others don't. And down at the bottom you see a preview of what your book may end up looking like. So if you find one that you like, then you can start clicking create right down here at the bottom. That's what I'm going to do. And once you've found a theme that you like, create actually goes and makes the whole book for you. But because I gave you guys a little bit more specific assignment where I asked you to tell me a story in your book, you're probably going to have to rearrange some of those pictures yourself. Nothing wrong with that. That's what the assignment's all about. Now, you can start to click in here and take a look at what's on each page. And if I want to zoom in a little bit closer, I might double click on that page just to get a full size view of it. Layouts in the little menu that pops up. I can choose from different colors. Uh, and the menus that pop up depend on what part of the book you're clicking on. So if I click on text, I get a menu for text. If I click on a picture, I get a menu for a picture. Okay, So you can get into some fine details here and really um, make this thing your own. And you can page through your book right up here with the left and right buttons. So um, just to get started, when you first get your pictures in here, you probably just want to make sure they're all in the right order. So you can move your pages around, you can move your elements around on the pages, and start to get the book set up the way you want. Now, once you've done that and you've got a book that's looking pretty good, then you can get into the really fine details where we start to do things like add pages and change layouts and stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff that you're going to do from this bar down at the bottom right. So if I click some of these buttons here, that's what that's going to do. Now, add page is pretty uh, self-explanatory, so I'll let you guys figure that one out. But if I click on layout, that lets me choose a different layout for my page, kind of like that little menu did right up at the top here. Uh, the options pane lets me take a look at my pictures and maybe change the color of the text or the um, effects that are on the picture like sepia tone or black and white. And then photos lets me add photos.